Hey guys, what's going on? Brian London here. You guys know what to do. It's always like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let's get into today's video. I'm sure you guys know what today's video is going to be about. As you can see, Chelsea have released a statement on Frank Lampard and you've all seen it. They've parted company with him. They have sacked Frank Lampard. Um, Roman Abramovich was quoted saying, this is a very difficult decision for the club, not least because I have an excellent personal relationship with Frank. And have the utmost respect for him. He is a man of great integrity and he has the highest of work ethics. However, under current circumstances, we believe it's best to change managers. We have everyone at the club, the board, and personally, I would like to thank Frank for his work as head coach and wish him every success in the future. He is an important icon of this great club and his status here remains undiminished. He will always be warmly welcomed back at Stamford Bridge. Um, I, I don't know what to say. I am... Um, to the core of my heart I'm heartbroken I didn't think that this would happen this soon you know all the talk of it I thought that Lampard would eventually maybe go this season if form kept dipping down but I figured we'd give him you know at least another maybe month or so and I was confident that Frank would start turning results around um I still am confident that he would have turned results around given time I'm I'm very sick of the managerial merry-go-round, as people like to put it. Um, Thomas Tuchel is set to take over, as you can see here. He's reportedly already in London, and to be presented as the Chelsea boss after the training session uh, coming up. Um, as you guys know, I was not a fan of Thomas Tuchel being appointed, or the idea of him being appointed manager, due to Demba Barr's interview recently and a few reports regarding the racism thing that happened where PSG players walked off the pitch as well as their opposition apparently according to Denver Bar um, Tuchel was not really opposed to what was said and to me that is a very weird stance for the club to take on hiring him um, I, I guess that's just irrelevant to you know us hiring him as a manager um, uh, so you know that is what it is it's going to be very difficult like for me to now move on and back to feel through no fault of his own in the sense of you know being our manager and just managerial reasons let alone personal reasons um because he's taking on from you know my favorite ever player my my club's best ever player and it's very weird to now think that we've got to get acclimatized to Thomas Tuchel coming in, someone who I have no connection with, I do not care about, when we've just been with Frank Lampard as our manager. So I'm very lost today. Um, I feel, I think the easiest way for me to describe how I feel right now on this is I feel disconnected from the club. I don't, I don't feel like we gave him time i don't feel like we had any empathy for his first real bad run you know last season he overachieved i think the club were not expecting champions league football he got us there with a bunch of youth players alongside jody morris who has also left the club um he got us there and players like mason mount tammy abraham reese james they had their you know their big breakout seasons and sort of prove to the world that they they're capable of being on the big stage and Lampard was absolutely instrumental in that influential whatever um and this season you know the whole three-year plan talks came into play and it was okay first one was stabilized then it was to sort of improve push up the table a bit more and then third season was to really challenge for a title um of course we're at the point now where he's been sacked i guess one and one and a half seasons into it so three year plan was a load of rubbish uh the club were never going to stick to it if results were not perfect and this raises questions to me of how well is this board run you know there's a lot of talks that frank fell out with marina marina grand sky who we know you know does good financial business um for chelsea when it comes to players she's been good at knocking prices down getting good prices for us when we're selling players and things like that so to a degree you have to you know respect what she does but apparently they fell out apparently of the summer signings one out of i think it's six that we signed was actually one that lampard wanted 
which is crazy to me. We now know it came out in the last few days that Havertz was not a player that Frank really wanted. It was the board that said, we're going to buy him and you're going to have to implement him into the team. To me, that feels so backwards. To me, that just is... I, I, it feels weird to give a manager a player he doesn't want to say, right, now you're forced to implement him into this team. And ultimately, was Kai Havertz part of the downfall of... Uh, Frank Lampard, in a way, yes, his form has not been good enough, he's not come to this club and set the fire, you know, raging, like we all wanted him to. When he arrived, um, Frank has obviously had some sort of push to play him, develop him, use him, and through his poor performances, not alone, do not get me wrong in saying that, there are other players that are absolutely at fault for their poor form recently, and all that sort of stuff. Um, but in part, you know, Lampard being for, and this is no fault of Kai Havertz as well, by the way, this is the board that I'm having a go at, I don't think Havertz is responsible directly, but the board forcing him to play Havertz has led to his downfall, because we have lost games, we have drawn games, we have dropped points where we should be picking up all three, and is that in part because the board are telling Frank he has to be playing this guy, he has to be playing that guy because they want them to develop and they think they're a good business asset and all that sort of stuff. So ultimately, I'm disappointed in a section of the fan base, I'm disappointed in the club, I'm disappointed in the board, and I'm disappointed that I never got to see Frank um, manage in the flesh. I wanted to go to Stamford Bridge, at a home game, see Frank Lampard, get a win against whoever and be cheering in the stand with my fellow Chelsea fans and see a Frank Lampard come over at the end of the game, you know, applauding the fans, thanking the fans. He's everything that, like, he, he was a role model to me growing up. His work ethic, as Roman Abramovich mentioned in his um, sort of departing announcement letter thing, he said his work ethic is sort of like unrivaled, like it's a good trait to have and I think with time, given Frank's intelligence, his football knowledge, his work ethic, his passion for the club, I think we were set up for a long term success. With him under the club, of course there were going to be bumpy moments like we're currently in. Maybe, you know, top four isn't unattainable by the way, if it was then the club would not have sacked Frank Lampard because they still think it can be achieved, they just think that we need an instant bump in form to get us there um so top four was not out of reach and i think with frank lambert at the helm we could have done it and i'm disappointed in the club for letting him go so soon um i, I want to talk about of course his last match against luton town in the fa cup isn't it a bit of a i guess it's nice in a way that his final game in charge is where our academy boys really shine the ones that he's helped develop massively give you know a platform and a career at Chelsea too. He gives Mason Mount the captain's armband, that to me, you know, Lampard supposedly knew from that Leicester defeat that he was probably gone, um, and he went and thanked the players for, you know, their time under him. Um, going into this game against Luton Town, then he of course gives Mason Mount the captain's armband, that is heartwarming to me, to know that he did that. He gave Mason that moment, um, anyone that, you know, at this point is still saying Lampard's son and, you know, having digging dig in at um, Lampard and Mason for that relationship is an absolute idiot. Like, I, I love it. Um, he gives Mason the captain's armband. Reese James, of course, had a great performance. Mason had a great performance. Tammy Abraham gets a hat trick in that game. And I know it was against Luton Town, so you know it never was going to matter if that game was a 3-1 win against Manchester City or you know some a, a big team that's looking to push for the title. If it was against a team like that, maybe that would have saved Frank's job, but the fixtures just weren't set out in front of him, and clearly the club have ambitions to get to the top four um, no matter what, no matter who you have to run through um, along the way, and you know, no matter the long-term success, because I've heard that Thomas Tuchel will be appointed with a 18-month contract, so end of next season, it'll run out. I've also heard longer dates, so I'm not sure if that's accurate, but that is what I've heard, 
and if that's the case then don't be surprised if you know we maybe extend his contract and then a year after we're talking about getting rid of him because we hit a run of poor form like every club does like every manager does like every team does ah as you can tell i'm very disheartened this probably wasn't the most fun video for you guys to watch but it is what it is um if frank ever sees this i'm sorry we let you down we tried to support as much as we can but ultimately it wasn't enough um the banner that we tried to get up of course it was only relevant for one game but i'm sure it'll always stay up in the bridge and show you know well what a, a good core of this club's fan base really felt about you um yeah that's going to be the end of the video guys if you did enjoy be sure to leave a like i don't know how you could have this is a very sad video for me to make um subscribe all that good stuff and i'll catch you on the next one goodbye